Hey everyone and welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and today we got another ESCA match for you. We are on Gravel Pit, um, the match of the week last week I believe. We are just waiting for another player to join right here but while I'm talking you guys should be introduced to my co-caster. This is uh, Pirate Kinetis, the medic for Team Echelon who we're watching today. Say hello. Hello. I am really excited to have him here because, he, as you know, I don't know sixes that well. And I am often like shouting at the players like, why are you doing what you are doing? And they, of course, cannot answer me. So um, I am really glad to have somebody here who can answer me. But before we get into all that, let us a quick first go over Team Rosters. As I said, Team Echelon is here. But we have Wu-Tang Financial, which is why I want to cast them, because that name is awesome. And um, we have Muo on Medic, Averto, and Radium are Scouts, Stolik, and uh, Zigster are Soldiers, and X is a Demo. We'll go over Team Echelon in a second. Uh, but I was told to follow... Uh, he was late because he uh, disconnected. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. All right, well, anyway. Then why don't we go over Echelon real quick? All right. So you got myself on Medic, Power Kinetis. We have Pushkin. Oh, excuse me, Pin Cushion. They're uh, running out on Scout. Fifthmark's playing NG for this part. Then we have Zonar and Purple on Soldiers, and Jaguar is on Demo. And interesting, we saw a Force pop there at B. The Soldiers came in from... Oh, I'm gonna call them WTF. Oh, I'm gonna call them Wu-Tang. And uh, Force that pop right there, so... Yeah, we weren't super happy about that, but um, it didn't look like they came in after capitalized on They kind of waited and took their time, kept their Scouts on A, but... Um, yeah. Unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah, interesting situation right there. And now you're building generally a good idea. Why building with the soldier instead of the scout right there? Um, we usually have our scout like way position. See, he's over there looking at long on the far edge. So we uh, just kind of build up here. It's really safe. There's a ammo pack nearby, and like it takes a lot of work for them to bomb up here, or they have to come to see where we can body block them. All right. See, this is already going awesomely. Here comes the Uber from Wu Tang. Force the pop on red. Of course, you know that Sentry Gun does go down, but Abithmark is. Uh, oh, actually, no, he moved it. So he has that level 3 up going real quick. Looks like this is such a failed push right there. Defense definitely yeah, able. Yeah, they had a pretty early pop. We were able to get up there and force them, which is uh, generally our strategy is to get in their faces and stop them before they can get to us. So they either get our Uber or the gun. And in this case, they got our Uber. But uh, they didn't get the gun, so... They did get the dispenser, I see, though. And you know how I feel about dispensers. <laughs> um, but actually here, W uh, X, the demo, coming in on the roof and getting some a good angle right there. The gun was not able to hit him, but he was able to put down some sticks, and there goes that gun. Yeah, it does end up cratering, but uh, their medic did go down in that all that transition. So um, we're going to have back viewer advantage. Like right now, I think we have a 50%. So you guys are feeling pretty good still. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good. Um, our gun's already at uh, level 2. We're, we're happy. We uh, didn't lose too much, it wasn't too bad, and uh, we were able to reset and force them to have another try, which they're doing a, a bold push right here without Uber. Mexican ton of damage, and ends up going down oh. to uh, Pushkin. Yeah, a great pick right there. Purpley was actually in on there, bombing really well, did a ton of damage, and cleaned up right yep. there. So, again, another failed push, and both the Demo and Stolik are really hurt, so they have to fall back, won't be able to capitalize on anything right there. So, yeah. again, feeling pretty good. Yeah, with this uh, second push down, you know, it takes about 40, 40 seconds at max building to get that Uber back. So what happens is when we kill the medic, we go in and pop it uh, when we feel comfortable. Like it's, it's not like a forced pop. We just use it to protect ourselves because we will um, be able to get the advantage back because it takes them all that time to get out there. So we're able to get Uber. See, we're already at a uh, sixty percent again. Right. Oh, just our huge sticky trap uh, pick, Jaguar getting W T or uh, getting X. The demo, um, I think it was a blind debt. Yeah, it was. So that was really impressive. They were pushing in from the B C connector, and uh, or C B connector, and able to get that debt. So without the demo, very important right there. However, Miwo is back up to 90%. Uh, Can have this Uber real soon, so we'll see that push in just a minute. It was kind of weird here that they didn't. Their uh, suiciders, uh, they just didn't really get anywhere. They uh, were stopped at the gates with that blind debt, and then um, Pincushion came up and forced them all back with some coordinated spam with uh, purple on the roof. And it really just stopped the push and prevented them from forcing me. Yeah, they're looking a little um, hesitant with their their suicides and not sure how to follow. First of all, like start them and then follow up on them. But of course, um, who wants to suicide? And here comes X in from behind, trying to get you to pop. And indeed, you do pop. 
both medics, I mean, both troopers going off, gun going down, Beth is dead, Zonar is dead as well. We're gonna see if the um, medic is finished off. No, both medics um, remain alive right there. Miwo able to get away, but he's not healing anyone, but he's the only one up right now for Wu Tang. Yeah, fortunately, Prover did a lot of work there and was able to keep me protected and keep the focus off of me and ended up getting uh, quite a few kills, I believe. A lot of those were his. Oh, so Miwo is all alone trying to get some uh, Crusader crossbow kills right there, not able to, and he gets taken down. So again, Yeah, here we, um, we're going to try stopping in here, which um, is, they don't have a medic, we know they don't have heals, and we have the heal advantage there. But um, they're all up, and that's, it's really just not a good decision what we're doing here. We're trying to push in and save something that's pretty much already lost. Alright, I understand that. I, I don't know, I would agree with pushing in, because right now it's just the scouts. Oh, and some big pills coming from Jaguar, taking down um, one of the scouts, and look, you, you don't agree with this push, looking in hindsight? Well, it, in hindsight, yeah, it worked out, but the risk for it, um, it we had to be very careful, and we, we easily could have been overpowered and lost it. Fortunately, we had the high, high advantage, so it kind of, could have gone pretty much either way, and uh, had it gone the other way, it would have been a, probably a white for us, and it would have been a roll in the end. Alright, interesting. Very interesting stuff. Hope you guys are learning because I am learning a ton. Gonna watch some more suicides coming in because Milo has uh, only about 50% Uber. He is out though, so little dangerous positioning right there. And Soldier coming in and bombing on him, and indeed he goes down. Purple getting that kill. Again, forcing Medic to uh, drop to the ground. No Uber drop right there, but still a great oh, play. Fifth just guns down the Demoman just runs right into him and just takes him down. Excellent play right there by the Engineer, and gotta love that shoddy. Right now, it's just a soldier and you on the point right there, able to hold it off. Um, yeah, this is just the power of the pocket. He has 300 health. You know, you can really just run around tank things. And, like, even if they have number advantage, the pocket versus, you know, two scouts or a soldier and a scout, it's usually going to go in the pocket's favor if he's good. And power we have Zoner. Of the pocket. Should probably still start a cult around the power of the pocket. Yeah, like, it's, you know, it's <laughs> 300 health. Mewo is out again, and I really don't agree with this. Um, interesting to see your thoughts on this as a medic coming out. I'm consistently being spammed down, and indeed, yes, he does go again. Purple is actually dominating right here, and so you immediately popped that Uber. Did you know Mewo went down? Yep, I got the call that he went down, and I saw my people were you know, a little bit lower health, so I just went ahead and flashed it around and uh, kept them all up. Excellent, excellent work right there, and there you go. Um, Bith, going back on scout, finishing off the last two players there for Wu-Tang, so... This time is really ticking down. Yeah, this uh, first round was uh, pretty handily ours. Uh, they had a lot of problems with pushing as well. What we kind of decided is that they didn't wait for an advantage. They just kind of like came in, which you can't really do because we're going to have the gun. We're going to have the high ground. We're going to have the CM come. We have the roof taken. Like we have all these advantages. You really have to have at least one solid one, whether that's the gun down, the medics down, or you get you know one or two good picks. Yeah, I see. And now you're no longer running the gun. Bith went back on scout. What was the reasoning for that? Um, we just figured that, I'm not really even sure, uh, <laughs> I think he uh, came down, he was down as engineer, was worried, so he went ahead and uh, uh, came back up as... Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. yeah, he did that in the last play. Um, right here we see Blue pulling out the Heavy, and now he is Ubered, so scatter right away. How do you defend against this? Uh, you run far, the Heavy is <laughs> a pretty slow guy, as soon as you can get around that corner, you're pretty much safe. They did get a good force on us though, the Heavy was gunning down my demo and forced the pop. About 30 to 40 percent before they ever had a pop, which is uh, not a good situation for us. Right, and we see Stolik getting um, doing some work right there before he went down. Five up right now for Wu Tang, and they are getting on the point as much as possible. But Mewo goes down to again to purple. Yeah, you um, gotta so watch that, that roof. Romer doing some really nice work right there. However, uh, Medic is the only one up for red, as you know, so yeah, not gonna be able to defend anymore. Just hanging out in spawn. Hanging out. So, yeah, that heavy play really worked for them. Um, it was. Kind of good to see it. They're uh, already pushing in. They already have people spamming us here. They, uh, the demo and I actually trapped up the door so we couldn't go out that side. Uh, this is really what you want to do is you want to go ahead and force them so they can't even try stopping B and get in and get that pressure on early so they um so you can get the next uh, point capped as fast as possible. Because at this point they have a pretty uh, not the best time in the world. Yeah, eight minutes for first two points is you generally uh, want that time for all three points. So actually, what do you aim for? Or um, do you... Right now it's about the standard route five to six. Is that if you're uh, six is a uh, pretty high and five is about the average. Okay. Awesome. And good to know that. Yeah, the times are. They've changed though. You know, the times get better changed. at playing the map. Yeah, that's that clever. I thought that was good. Yeah. 
That's, uh... Anyway, um, we were running uh, Pyro and Heavy right here at the last point. Pretty typical defensive things for uh, this last point on C, right? Yep, you go ahead and get both of them up on top and just nothing can jump them. The Heavy is just going to gun them down and stall everything. And the Pyro, if they do get up there, you can just blast them off, reflect rockets. It's really a pretty good situation. All right, and both Ubers are up, so we're going to see this play here really soon. Coming in from BC Connector. Oh, Purple going down as uh, Pyro initially, but you still are holding on to this Uber. Jaguar getting destroyed right there, and Wu-Tang actually getting a lot of picks right here, but you still have this Uber hanging on again. Finally, it's popped. Everybody has to make that long journey up to the sea. Will they be able to do it um, before this Uber runs out? No. You come out alive, but Zonar is taking a lot of damage. You see him on the other point, and there we go. Yeah, the beginning of that push, we uh, we kind of had it in the bag, it looked like. Uh, we had blasted him back with the pyro, and everything seemed sunny and bright. Yeah. But um, I didn't pop that Uber enough early early enough to save them, which is uh, a thing you really have to practice on is, you know, if you're not in danger, that's not always the one key to popping, is uh, sometimes you have to pop to save your people uh, around the whole map, not just your pocket. All right. That's really interesting. And I think we have a pause because uh, Purple's, he is uh, texting from Canada, so he gets that uh, Canadian <laughs> connection. Oh, fun. Uh, do you remember if it was long pause? Um, I think we ended up just uh, unpausing it pretty quick because right. um, it's set up time. All right. We'll hang out for another second then so I can ask more questions. All right. Go for it. Okay. So what was your reasoning for holding on to that Uber? Um, that, well, a lot of it was just um, a lapse in my memory. I just thought that, you know, I was safe, so I didn't have to worry about anything, right? But um, that was obviously not the case. Um, you really have to go ahead and get aggressive with it after theirs is over and use it to push them back. Because you have this wall of invulnerable people, and um, that's, like, really advantageous. Oh, here, it looks like we're back all skating around. There we go. And, uh, but you did lose uh, purple as... As Pyro pretty quick, and then Jaguar went down too, I believe. So you, uh... yeah, okay. the dropping Jag was probably the bigger part there. The Pyro did his job; he um kept everything pushed back. But um, and then uh, I really should have gotten with Jag and been able to save him. He has that damage and has that area control, which is really important on C, because you know if you have this top sticking up, they're not going to be able to jump it. You're just going to blast them off. They're not going to come in the doors because you have them trapped. It's just all these things that make the the demo is really important on uh, C. I guess is the what I'm trying to get out here. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. And of course, I don't mean this this match to be some sort of self-flagellation and be like, now, Kinetis, what did you do wrong here? What did you learn from this? That, that's how the team two treats most of the matches for me, though, so I'm kind of oh. used to it. Oh, man. Uh, how many hours do you have on uh, Medic? Uh, I think I'm at, like, 180 right now. Just a, just about. I have more hours on Medic than you. All right. Let's, you know, let's All right. Medic be Medic sometime. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but no, it's great hearing like actual strategy because I'm a pub medic, and um, so that's okay. Really cool. Yep. Uh, Very our, our scouts had to be a little bit careful. They were in uh, both separate directions. They didn't all commit to one side, so that they could uh, check for traps and uh, make sure that they didn't, you know, get blown up on the point or uh, there wasn't a soldier hiding somewhere. Yeah, we're not seeing a whole lot of defense. Oh, here we go. Actually, stole it coming in, trying to get the bomb, taking oh giving a lot of damage to the scouts right there, but Bith and Pincushion able to survive, so now we're just hanging out. Zoner just coming over there, making sure his scout buddies are, you know, hey, yeah. okay. He's the bodyguard right there. Yeah, and their um, Wu-Tang Financial is actually running a heavy and staying on the cliff as we did with the demo man, which heavy pocket is actually a pretty good idea up there. You can really body block, and you also have this uh, denial of jumpers, which is really nice. But it doesn't look like they're watching long very well. They're not watching the uh, points where we're going to come out. Oh, it looks like we have another pause because uh, Purple has great internet. All right. Well, uh, okay, look there we go. Look at this heavy. Look at this heavy. That's what... Oh, oh <laughs> look so at his little horrible. legs. <laughs> All right, so we'll take a pause, and we'll be back when the action starts. And we're back after that pause. You didn't miss too much action except a heavy running in midair with little legs going so fast. It was adorable. If you don't know a uh, playback demo feature on TF2, you should definitely mess around with it because it's a lot of fun. Plus, it's great to you know make your team better. You know, one night of that is worth six nights of scrims. Ah, that. Yeah, improvement is good too. Um, yeah, if you're curious, ESCA has all the demos up online. Also, tf2demos.com. People post their stuff. But we are back happening action. Yep, and we're already all in here. Purple has taken the roof. Ours in the process of taking it, contesting it. 
And uh, we're pushing up the left side to get this gun. We're seeing this heavy. How do you focus? Uh, what? How do you deal with this heavy? He's standing right in front um, of the sentry. Actually, goes for the sentry. We just had to get the bomb. gun first, and uh, just hope that uh, everything went well. I didn't get instigated horribly, painful death. But uh, we're able to scatter after this, and um, really kite most of the Uber. But in the end, we I think we all go down. Yeah, it looks like Jaguar taking a lot. Only five health goes down. Bithmark is the only one alive, and that scout is not gonna be able to do much. Now you got the dispenser pick. That so. is, we're really proud of that. You know, that's that was the main goal because you know it really is. You know, you get the advantage because if you take down the dispenser and the gun, it's gonna take them that much longer if you just as opposed to just taking down the gun. Yeah, the teleporter's still up though. Yeah, who cares about teleporters? <laughs> do you think the teleport is that important on this? Um, um it's point? it's a lot better than not having it, but um, it's not as important as the dispenser. <laughs> so oh, good. Oh, so already trying to contest, and it ends up uh, cratering. He missed his strafe a little bit there, buddy. Missed your strafe. We see purple going on uh, sniper right here. What is his thought process? What's just looking um, for any type of pick? Uh, mainly going for the medic, but uh, if we don't get the medic, whatever, we're happy with anything because it gives us that number advantage. Oh, and he gets the medic with a nice peek around the rock. Great shot right there. Thanks for not ruining that surprise. Great pick, so that is where you push in, correct? Uh, yeah, it would. Unfortunately, um, our demo goes down to the sentry. Uh, our Ubers pop kind of late, and we're down in numbers a little bit, and it's just not a great situation. The gun's still up. It's only level two, which is nice, but um, we really just kind of echelon that push. <laughs> echelon that push. Yeah. There um, is the actually, sentry goes down, he's trying to rebuild it, he's trying moving it, it didn't work out for him. Uh, and Zonar, the huge pocket soldier, just goes in, takes out, takes out the demo, takes out the uh, NG, and gets that teleporter, the all-important teleporter. So, great recovery right there. It wasn't looking a year away for a while, but actually, uh, X and Verdo took a lot of damage. But Red is not willing to give this up. Wu-Tang uh, committing all hard. Miwa was in there, but Jaguar takes down two with uh, one pill, it looks like. Um, so, Wu-Tang, not sure about that play. Yeah, they kind of kind of aggressive, they're hoping that we're also on the point, but uh, we had already pushed up to that cliff. Oh, and Zone already goes down to a sticky trap. He was, got a little bit too heated up in the moment and uh, died to it. Right now, X chasing you down, and indeed he does get that pick, the medic pick, so important. So Mio's gonna have a little bit of advantage, but not huge because he just spawned. Yep, and um, uh, the way we usually push C, I don't want to ruin it for everyone, but uh, we're probably coming up as crits, and uh, it's a really effective, because C is all about you know getting the kills, because they have a pretty long spawn at this point in time. Uh, compared to us, we have a fast response, so we're able to suicide and run crits, and we just get a couple of people down, and after that... Shh, uh, don't, you know, don't ruin it. Alright, so... Uh, that should go, I don't say we're actually going to be able to do this. <laughs> so, who's calling uh, running crits right here? Are you making that decision, or...? Uh, yeah, I usually make the decision. Uh, it's just kind of a universal thing. I run to a house like an idiot, because uh, I can't walk straight. Oh, well, I didn't get that on cam, but uh, thanks oh, for I your confession. Alright. So watching that crits, of course it builds so fast, but uh, Mimo wasn't building there for a second, but he is pretty much at Uber. So pushing left? Um, we're say? just kind of poking left. We're trying to put our presence so they think we're there. We're there. We have, I think, purple spamming from that choke. And uh, just trying to make them think that we're farther in a different site, location than we were, and not all stack up at one area. Now, Echelon, I mean, uh, Zonar went down right there. Are you going to wait for him? Um, How important is that? I'm not sure if we did it here. Uh, I think we nope. just ended up going in. <laughs> Actually, saw the, saw the heavy up there, saw the soldier up there, we were able to get the damage on him. And uh, Pinkish is able to clean up on that damage, which is really good. And we were able to get on the point, and Jack has stickies up there, and he's able to blow people off. Some good plays right there. I noticed he sticky jumped. Um, did you take the crits off him while, before he did that? Uh, I believe so. I don't think it does like that much extra damage to you if it does any. Ah, okay. But, um, Jaguar really had to get uh, more stickies up there. He's, uh, he's good at blowing people off, but not that good that he you know, was only two sticks. Yeah, purple getting up there, but uh, instantly explodes from Zig. So it looks like a, yeah, a failed push right there. Not exactly what you wanted. Crits did not get the kills, as you say. It is so powerful in doing that, but of course you got to get those stickies in the right places. More importantly, we ended up with a, we ended up getting the Megan to have like a 40% advantage right now, plus it's crits. So it actually ends up being you know closer to like a 65. Uh, so that's really what we wanted. Is, you All know, right. Could have just pretended that that was a. Um, an intentional death. <laughs> just one a whole team suicide just to get the whole medic. Whole team suicide. I hear that's advantage. very popular. Um, yeah, I yeah. Like especially in situations like this. Where, that yeah, when they have the the uh, spawn disadvantage, you know, it takes them a lot longer to spawn than it does us. We're able to do stuff like that where we trade medic. All we have to do is get their medic, and um, we've kind of won. 
won the push at least. So you're coming in again, popping that uber on Jag, getting a couple kills right there. Medic is running back to spawn because he is so hurt. And actually it looks like, ooh, Pincushion getting a nice kill on Verter right there, another scout, and he's going to be able to cap this point all by himself. Yep, uh, they did, the medic fall back because of that crits, but it wasn't, um, he didn't react fast enough to after it was over to come back in and uh, start healing up people and try to get the uh, um, the advantage back. All right, kind of, well, like, backed into spawn and that, um, you know, didn't allow him to be able to save his team and heal them, heal them up and keep them alive. But um, it was a pretty good push by us, and uh, we're, we're looking here at the half. All right, so we'll take a quick break and be back with the second half. Right now, Team Echelon leading 1-0. And we're back with the second half. Again, I'm with Kaneta. So how is your team feeling at this point? What were you, what were you saying during halftime? It was a pretty short halftime. Um, of course, for me, halftime. A short halftime is anything less than half an hour. Uh, it, we were pretty happy with everything we are doing. We uh, wanted to go a little bit uh, crazier. You see uh, Purple's up on Spy. Uh, oh. We are just trying to make these uh, different plays. We are trying to... They, you know, I, we were assuming that they would figure out kind of what we did. We just kind of did this uh, very blunt, not very tricky, and just uh, tried out playing them. Where now we're trying to out strategize them. We're running spies, probably going to run some snipers and do some uh, a little bit weirder stuff. Interesting. Very excited. Love the spy play. And right now, Stolik is on uh, Pyro for Wu Tang. Where is he that he's doing that? And he's actually just respawning. Okay, looks like he's going to change back to soldier. Okay, that makes sense. He's going to have to hurry, though. Yeah, I believe he was um he was even the uh, backburner pyro, which I, I guess he was just goofing around. But um that's actually a really legitimate strat, uh, not with backburner so much, but uh, to use the detonator, get up on the roof, and use that to control it because you can air blast people off. Yeah. We Definitely. tried that; it didn't work out well. <laughs> but it could could be a good strat right there. Oh yeah, it, it does work uh, if you can do it right and everything works out perfectly. We saw a pin cushion take a lot of damage um, from sticky traps coming out of spawn. Gonna be able to get those heals back up and go. Pretty much cap A uncontested. Meanwhile, Zona and Jaguar going down as they come into B. Yep, there's a little bit of fail suicide, but it was uh, <laughs> a lot of it was to get the pressure off of them, and so that they thought, oh, the suicide's over, we can relax until the next one. When uh, reality, uh, the spy's gonna be coming around here any moment, uh, trying to do his thing. All right, we'll get on spy cam and don't ruin it for us. Properly well, we'll in see. behind. He's the... not very well disguised with that big uh, Max heads on his, on his head. Well, he's in behind them. They have no idea right now. They are so. Oblivious. Now, a med pick or a sentry pick? Uh, we go for, I think we prefer med picks. Oh, he's on his oh, head. Oh, he's on his head. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they know he's here. They know he's here. Oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> Herp, he says in chat. Herp, yeah. Any derps. That was, uh, Life's close. Uh, yeah, it he just... spends more time on people's heads than uh, probably <laughs> anything else. That was pretty really got, He got into a good spot. Uh, the only way to really do that is, I've had this happen to me. Um, is you jump, the spy jumps through the window, strafes onto Ooh. your head, and then stabs you. Ooh, that's... Un that's that, it was pretty embarrassing. I was pretty pretty unhappy about it. <laughs> but uh, that was a really good spot for him to be holding, uh, especially in these early suicides. Because right up against this wall, they can't get you without having to go through the sentry first, and sentries are a tough thing to go through. All right, great. Very good. Now they're watching the BC connector and watching their backs as well. See, not um, more jerky movements and turn you around from the medic oh, and right here. Oh, come up on sniper, which uh, it's good that they're watching their backs, but they're not watching the sides anymore. All right. And up until now, the scouts weren't even watching long, which is where he's sniping from. And he gets a scout Ooh, pick. Nice. A nice pick. That was very good. That was the problem is they they haven't been watching the um, connectors from blue spawn. Like they haven't been over there looking. Oh, he's going in for it. Gets the oh. NG body shot. Now taking down the sentry with those no or that uh, body shots right there, and sentry does go down. Radium, however, is back up. Oh, and purple goes down. X taking him. Oh, X taking Jaguar down actually right there. So not having that demo with that push. So not actually able to do a whole lot with that push, even though they did get that um, player advantage. Yeah, uh, we did get the two drops, but uh, it wasn't. We didn't get the medic, and uh, it wasn't really working out for us. I did, however, stay alive because you know I'm not a magic medic. To be able to escape out to um, to A through the B A connector, and I was uh, able to get hit with my soldier here, Zonar, and uh, start building again. Yeah. So there we go. Mm. So at this yeah. point, Purple has gone back to soldier. Those sneaky plays didn't work. So are you abandoning all that, or what's going on in comms right now? Um, we're just uh, trying to figure out where we want to push from. It looks like we're pretty much dedicated to C. And uh, there's something I want to point out really quick is there was a glitch, and Purple's Max's hat has four ears. Oh, gotta find this. It's pretty cool. Purple. Oh my god. 
Purple, That's purple, purple. pretty fantastic. Yeah. So uh, we've pretty much we we're trying to decide where we we're gonna go from uh, C or the connector. We ended up picking our combo through the connector, and our scouts, I believe, went through C. Uh, so we're gonna kind of doing a hammer and anvil strike here, where they're gonna focus their uh, combo, our focus on our Uber, and then our scouts are gonna come in and try doing the flank and the cleanup work. All right, really interesting. Hammer and anvil. That's is that the technical name for it? That is indeed the technical term. Uh, all that's right. You know, that's what all the old military chaps used to say. <laughs> all right, so watching Zonar getting those overheals and that uh, nice uber flash onto him, manages to survive. Sentry gun goes down. Right now, though, not getting the frags. Pincushion is... Oh, actually, sorry, I was looking at the wrong things. Mewa goes down, so getting that super important med pick. However, soldier in, and actually, Zonar doing a great job protecting you. Oh, but not watching the side, and Radium cleans you up. Can this soldier go big and defend? It's only a soldier and scout left. All on this on B right here, and uh, looks like they will be able to. Unfortunately, we didn't get the dispenser pick here, so he's yep. going to be able to rebuild a little bit faster. Oh. But they do still have a little bit longer spawns, so uh, we have that advantage there. So we're going to try keeping up the pressure and keeping into them and not letting them get back in. Pincushion actually did finally get that dispenser pick. Miwa was super overextended, trying to come out here and heal the scouts. When scout went down, he was very vulnerable, unfortunately. Uh, Echelon Scout's not able to follow up on that, but Ooh, oh, he Jack does go down. Jack stick right there in the air, catches him and gets him down. And see, his spawns are, you know, I think it's like 17 seconds. Yes. I, think, I know Radium had a 21 second respawn. That's really the advantage here, is why you're able to suicide and do these really aggressive plays, is you have this great spawn advantage, and um, you're able to get up and get in their faces and keep the pressure up, and they, uh, they just can't hold it forever. So what time are you guys looking at right now? Are you focused on time or are you just focused on making these plays? Uh, focus on the plays and uh, the time will come, you know, if you get a mm -hmm. bunch of good plays. We're at five minutes right now, which is a little bit higher than we wanted to be. We had a couple of uh, failed pushes there, but overall, uh, we're pretty happy with time. I believe they had eight minutes. So yeah. we have three minutes to push C, which is uh, one of the easier ones to push. To be honest, it looks like here we are coming through um, door two is what we call this. And door we threw it in, able to dodge most of those sticks. and. Uh, Getting really aggressive with this Uber. It was owners pushed them all back into spawn, or not all of them, but most of them back in spawn, and we're getting a pretty easy cap right here. Oh, wow. So, really great push right there. Sentry gun not an able to do anything. I don't even know where it was. But, um, oh, Radium just, uh, actually on Sentry right on Ingy right there. It's kind of in a weird spot. It didn't really uh, block the point too much, but it did, uh, had it been up at a level 3, probably would have uh, really forced up some jumpers and screwed up their uh, strafes and stuff. All right, so we're here with the second half of the round. So Wu-Tang Financial has to beat 5 minutes and 32 seconds or they lose this match. Remember, Team Echelon is up 1-0. So a really great push right there. Are you happy with 5 minutes and 32 seconds? Uh, yeah, we're very happy. And um, I think Purple has gotten to his, his sneaky spot. Yep, if you go to his cam, he is hiding and uh, ready to do some work on some people. All right, we're going to give away his huge secret there. Look yep. at that. Very interesting. Look at this. You can also get up there as Scout, but uh, you have to be really sneaky. We won't show how he gets there. Probably a rocket jump, but uh... probably a rocket jump. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, but I, you, there I'm could be sure. other ways. Seen him do it. All right, so uh, we're, yeah, we'll stick on his cam. Um, could do something fun right here. Yeah, I think we have Jag in the connector, or he has some he has some sticks up here somewhere, uh, ready to pop him on some people and get some damage out, so uh, purple can clean up. Oh man, he's almost falling off this edge right here. I'm really nervous for him. Walking the tightrope. <laughs> And he's the. Uh, I feel the scouts like came in. The scouts did a really good job of checking for all the traps, but uh, they didn't check for the soldier. Mm. And of course, scouts are so short. You never suspect soldiers to drop in. And here he goes. One rocket, two He's rocket, one. take down Radium. Can he finish it up? Oh, takes a lot of damage. Oh, and Virto finishes him off. So, uh. <laughs> We're just saying he wanted that. Yeah, but, uh, that health pack really, um, whoever was, there was a race to that, and of course you know how races go. Scouts always win. And the advantage so. here is that um, A isn't capped, which, you know, they're going to cap it anyway. We're not even contesting it, really. But what it does is their spawns don't get faster until they cap A. So ah. for the next, you know, solid, you know, 10 seconds, they're going, their suicides aren't going to be as efficient as possible. And uh, that gives us a little bit of advantage. But they got a soldier oh, really? coming in to cap it at 3x. And the scouts come back, so... Uh, they got it, but uh, Purple didn't do as much as he probably could have, but um, we're happy with what he did. All right, very interesting. So, again, going for those sneaky strats. Yeah, like I said, we kind of uh, took a little bit more uh, stealthy and crazy approach to this round. <laughs> uh, trying to get, like, you know, we have spies and a lot more snipers. Oh, and Jaguar gets a oh. somewhere. I think he was finding in. He's it was on the BC connector. Yeah. So, nice work right there. If, however, they know it's there right now, so... The advantage of this is they either have to pop in, which is kind of ridiculous because at this distance, 
or they um they just have to be really careful and it slows them down which gives us time plenty of time to react to them you see zonar and here are watching this door really heavily we get in there we tr see we're body blocking the med here which keeps him uh, back which keeps him from getting this so annoying down. so annoying yeah that was textbook play uh we didn't we didn't have to flash at all so our uber lasted a little bit longer and we just completely obliterated that push from that edge a uh, great uh, defense right there blocking. just by standing <laughs> all or i have to do is stand there is there a technique in that um yeah, you just kind of have to predict their movements and kind of when they strafe right to get around you, you have to strafe, you know, and get in their way. Yeah. You have so to it's in their face. So it's like the awkward dance you do with people when you're coming at each other and you both. Yeah, and I have move. a lot of practice with this. I'm oh yeah. So awkward in hallways. All right. So it helps to be awkward medic. Yeah, awkward medics usually make the best ones because they, you know, they, in, even escaping, you know, they get in these weird situations. They're like, this is weird. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't explain me. I'm super awkward and I still suck. Your theory falls well, flat. Well, maybe you're too awkward. <laughs> too much of a good thing can, you know, end up being a bad thing. All right. So you have a nice uber advantage right now, and you've got to know that. Do you uh, and just do you ever think about being really aggressive and just going in there? Because right um, now there's only two minutes here, forty we get seconds. From our scout actually that they're coming from long. So you see they're all in long right now. This is a terrible idea because you know we know where they're coming from. We're gonna get. Oh in man. Donar and Jack are getting up there, and I actually flat up here trying to save Jack, but I completely missed it. That's oh. probably the biggest mistake of this game. Um, but we do end up forcing them back, but they do have um, advantage now, about 80%, 90%. We're not very happy that. Biggest mistake of the game. Biggest mistake of the game on my end, yeah, is uh, trying to save Jag there. You should always just let your demo die. Oh, really? <laughs> no, not really. But a situation like that when you're holding uh, on Gravel Pit, and that's a situation like that, if they haven't popped on defense, you shouldn't, really. Unless you're all up in their face, like right up there making them pop. All right, so now they're gonna have that nice advantage push it in. You're already at 40 though. Here comes the Uber, not able to do anything to save that sentry gun. Bith goes down as well and get the dispenser pick. Uh oh, not looking good for Echelon as Wu Tang clean. Sonar and I have, have gone completely around them without them really making a call. There's only a sniper to stop us. So uh, we get a pretty good advantage here, our positioning, but uh, our team isn't there to help us and back up. So uh, I think I'm gonna die here. Yeah, it looks like Stolik has figured you out. And those needles, oh. but those needles not gonna save you so there you go actually Verdo is on sniper for Wu-Tang right now Interesting. yeah he got up uh, I don't think he got any picks or any kills or anything but um yeah that um I really see that's just the old chain of events of me popping early trying to save Jag mm. uh, it just we ended up just going down down and things just got worse and worse also interesting, we see Radium on Heavy right now, no doubt to counter your Heavy, but um, not getting that fast cap of C or B, and you know B caps so slowly, and right now they have only one minute, so they have to make this push. Uber popped on the Heavy, actually uh, not able to do it, some flashing work, Soldier pops up to the top, but there's a sentry gun there, can he finish it off? No, Zigster gets finished off instead. Where's the rest of Wu-Tang? They are just not here to finish up on this uh, this push, X the demo, uh, really needs to be here, but not seeing that, not getting the frags that they need to get, and uh, time is running out, any hope right now. Yeah, that was uh, pretty much just the, you know, we textbook, we were able to spread out from the Uber until it was over, and then just conglomerate on them and just get the kills uh, after it was over. Oh, Bith goes down to a stick, oh. silly, silly NG. But um, I think the time is pretty good, you know, 10 seconds left, 15 seconds, they're Probably not gonna be able to get it in. And We're just to keep up aggressive Uber. and keep them far away, even if it costs our lives. Which uh, you see Purple and uh, Pin doing up in here, getting really up in their face. And I get the Uber. We're able to stay on the point. And um, oh, but actually, you no, know, getting the soldier. Oh, if they only had a pyro, you'd all be off that point yeah. right now. Wow. But nonetheless, a still pretty close game right there. How do you feel uh, against Wu Tang as opponents? Um, they were they were pretty good. They just had a little bit of coordination issues, uh, which is you know. Uh, they had good DM and everything, but uh, Gravel Pit's really, you have to be coordinated and make these almost textbook perfect pushes in order to, uh, uh, you know, go up mm. against good coordination, which uh, I think we really had on Gravel Pit. How many scrims or uh, preparations did you put into specifically Gravel Pit? For Gravel Pit, um, we, for Gravel Pit, uh, probably three scrims. Okay. We try playing uh, Monday through Thursdays, two scrims a night or so. Uh, when we don't have games on Tuesday and Thursday nights, uh, sometimes we have them on Wednesday, and we had a Sunday, which was crazy. But um, so yeah, we kind of scrim hard and we uh, practice hard, do a lot of lobby, or a lot, not, not a lot of lobbies. Those uh, aren't really that great anymore. Oh, yeah. But uh, do a lot of pugs, and uh, we really try keeping our skills up, and uh, really try getting our coordination together for uh, gravel pit. Well, awesome. Well played game from both, I think. Some really interesting stuff. Thanks so much for uh, all the insight. Again, Pyrokinetis, the medic for Team Echelon.
Um, you saw them take this 2-0 in a well-fought battle. So, um, Kinetis, any final words? Um, give, give hats. She loves it. <laughs> she looks great now. No, don't. Well, actually, I could use a scout hat if anybody... No. <laughs> uh, anyway, so thanks so much for joining me. If you want to see your match casted or another match from ESCA, of course, they have all those demos online, um, definitely email me at falafel1066 at yahoo.com. Again, thanks so much to Kinetis. And um, that's about it, guys. So have a good day. Peace.